Okay, so in my last video, I was talking about, uh, after six months of my cat having <clears throat> the same symptoms um, of throwing up a clear fluid and being really thirsty, um, other than those two symptoms, there was really nothing else going on <clears throat> as far as her health. But <clears throat> on November 4th, my cat finally, I mean November 4th, just one day before she got put down, she finally developed a new symptom and that was a clear fluid that was coming out of her backside that looked exactly like the same clear fluid that she was throwing up six months before. Um, but this clear, when it was coming out of her backside, it had a pinkish, a um, little bit of pinkish to it and, um, you know, I thought it was, I assume that means there's blood in it. So it's not good. <clears throat> Definitely not good. So I told my mom on November 4th that uh, I noticed that Princess was straining to go to the bathroom or feeling like she had to go to the bathroom. Then that when she, you know, would get out of her litter, finally get out of her litter box and was walking around, I noticed that there, she was at, there was like this clear fluid that was a little pink just leaking out of her backside. Like, uh, you know, we didn't know if, if it was, like I said, it was, we didn't know if it was coming out of her, you know, anus or vagina. I'm just going to say it. Um, we didn't know. Uh, so I told my mom about it, and uh, that's when my mom was like, yeah, we're definitely getting her put down. You know, it's not good. You know, and all that stuff. And me, I just kind of like went into like, I mean, I was already frustrated for six months, you know, just trying to find out why she was throwing up a clear fluid and why she was so thirsty. Because the vet wasn't telling us shit. Um, so on November 4th, when my mom said, okay, we're definitely getting her put down, I kind of like went into a, a panic. Like, I mean, I started getting on the internet, uh, I mean, I told you I was already doing, like, some research on my own to find out what was wrong with my cat, but I mean, I know, November 4th, my mom was like, my mom was dead serious, you know, and, and really pissed at me, you know, about, you know, because I was getting, like, really upset, <clears throat> and so she was really dead serious, and she said, yeah, we're definitely getting her put down, you know, definitely. You know, I don't care what, she even said to me, I don't care what you say, it's not up to you anymore, you know, I'm getting her put down. So, I went into a panic and started, like, getting on the internet obsessively, obsessively, I don't know, and, like, really, like, researching even more. I was like, no, I gotta find out what's wrong with her, because my mom's gonna definitely, uh, my mom's gonna get this done, no matter what I say, I mean... I mean, as much as I felt like Princess was my cat, um, I still, you know, I also remembered, you know, I still live in my mom's house. Princess lives here with me. And, of course, my mom's going to think that she has just as much say. You know, of course, my mom's going to feel like she has just as much say as I do as far as, you know, you know, my my what I like to say, my cat, you know, as far as my cat's health and stuff, my mom felt like she had, you know, just as much, I don't know, but, um, so yeah, November 4th, me and my got uh, started arguing w worse than, I mean, I told you we've been arguing for six months about my cat's health, so on November 4th, it was like the worst argument, and then of course, you know, <clears throat> November 5th came around, and, uh, we were still arguing. I mean, I woke up that morning, you know, and just got straight on the internet. Because uh, um, I told you my cat started straining to go to the bathroom on the 4th. And she started, um, that's when I noticed the clear liquid coming out. They had a little bit of blood in it on the 4th. And she, my cat was still doing that all night. <clears throat> and um, on until the morning of November 5th. You know, I was, at that point, I was still hoping that um, it was going to stop. You know, maybe my cat was like, I was still trying to believe that my cat was just kind of really constipated. And it was like so bad to get out that, you know, it was causing a little bit of a bloody fluid to come out. But, you know, I also knew 
that's probably not what it was, you know? And, um, <clears throat> so basically on November 5th morning, you know, I was doing all my research and stuff. Me and my mom were still arguing. And, um, then finally by the afternoon, my mom was ready to take my cat to, uh, have her put down. And she even said to me, she's like, and we had a huge argument, and my mom said to me, she's like, I do not care what you think. This is, this is going to happen. I'm going to have it done. I don't, I'm sick of seeing her suffering. And I just, it just was a very confusing, frustrating day. I mean, the, the weather on November 5th was already terrible. It was freezing cold. It was rainy. Wind was blowing. Gray clouds in the sky. It was already a really depressing day. And I was just getting like really, really frustrated just thinking that out of all days, this is the day that this has to happen. I mean, why can't, why couldn't it be a, why couldn't the weather be at least uh, more cheerful or whatever? So basically, all right, my mom called, because we don't have a car, um, my mom called cab. She's like, all right, I'm taking her in a cab, uh, or whatever, and then when my mom said that, uh, I just broke down. I really did. I was, I was shaking, I was crying, I was angry, you know, I, and plus, I was still sitting at the computer when my mom was saying this to me, too. I was sitting at the computer, still trying to desperately find out what the hell, you know, if I could somehow find out what my cat had, you know, I'm just, because I still was in that mindset where like, if, all right, she's going to get put down today, I want to know, you know, what she has, so that when people ask me, you know, what happened to your cat, how did your cat die, you know, I don't just have to sit there like all confused and not be able to give them an answer, but my mom anyways called the cab and I broke down and, uh, after a while, my mom kind of gave in, like she, um, I don't know if it's because she's seen like how, how emotional I got, like how I was sh sh literally shaking and crying, but all of a sudden she was like, all right, I'm going to cancel the cab. And then this feeling of relief came over me, like, okay, my mom's definitely, um, maybe she had a ch change of heart or whatever. This is not going to happen today. But, so an hour went by. And, uh, my mom changed her mind again. So, right when I thought my mom, you know, completely changed her mind and wasn't going to have my cat put down on November 5th, an hour later she changes her mind again. Says, nah, we're, nah, she, um, nah, we're going to do it today. Of course I started crying again. And, um, this time, though, my mom didn't call a cab. She called her or her cousin, my older cousin, and asked her, you know, if she would give us a ride out there. I don't know. I guess the reason why my mom, too, like, didn't call a cab again because she realized she didn't have the money for a cab anyway. So, so she called her old, my older cousin, who's, like, around my mom's age, and uh, she agreed to come. So, of course, I, like, broke down a second time after, you know, an hour an hour before I was starting to feel relieved that it wasn't going to happen. Uh, also, my mom tells me, she's like, you know, uh, my older cousin's name is Tanya. She said, uh, Tanya's on her way. She said she's going to drive us up there. And, um, damn it. I only have nine, I only have like a minute left. So I can't believe this guys, I'm sorry. There's gonna have to be a part four now. Um, I didn't realize how f hard this was gonna be to explain. I guess this is just one of those things that just can't, no matter how much you try to break it down, it's fucking impossible. So see you in uh, part four. Oh, jeez.